it's raining quite heavily now but honestly i love goa during monsoons i just love how it all gets so green and looks even more beautiful hello from goa well you know when we usually talk about goa we often think of the buzzing nightlife or uh, the crazy night bars and the beach shacks but we miss out on the natural or the real beauty of goa So today I am in the heart of South Goa here to explore some of the most amazing hidden gems that should be added to your bucket list. And my partner for the day is the all new Citroen C3. So let's take her and you guys for a quick spin. Let's go. Goa is every traveler's idea of fun and I can't even count the number of times I have been to Goa maybe 100 times or more but I'm visiting all these places in South Goa for the first time today The Three Kings Chapel is a lone church standing atop a hill called Kyolem of the vast expanse of South Goa. Not only is this church standing tall and looking extremely pretty, it also offers a breathtaking view of all of Goa. The story goes like this church was once governed by three kings. They all fought and eventually killed each other in the quest to become more powerful. Their bodies were buried in the church site itself and they say that their spirits still roam around quietly governing and protecting their kingdom You know one of my absolute favorite things to do in Goa is driving I mean every time I've come here I've hired a car to just explore the beach town but this time around I have the Citroen C3 This is the newest addition to the India family and in fact this car is completely made in India for India. The color, the style, it's all very young and progressive and it lets you express your style too. It's cool, it's customizable and it's comfortable. And when I say customizable, what it essentially means is that you know, you would see that the dashboard here has two colors or even the car in itself has two colors. You guys can choose what color you would like, what combination you would like for the car. In addition to that, there are 70 plus accessories. You can just choose all of that online and the car will be delivered to you at your doorstep the way you visualize it. Isn't that cool? And guys, much like this car, I am also customizing the itinerary of South Goa. Literally nothing on my agenda. The road looks pretty so I'm heading straight there. Let's see what we discover. Wow so I'm driving on a beautiful stretch of road in Varna which is actually a small village but also happens to be an industrial hub a lot of people from different parts of India come here and work in the production sector um the good thing about the car is that because of its high seating it gives you an elevated experience even those sitting at the back can not only enjoy the drive but also the panoramic view And because of the suspension and the under thigh support for the rear seat, it's very comfortable at the back. Hey, so I told you, right? My trip is totally customizable. Here I came across this beautiful old Portuguese villa which is about 300 years old. It's called Carpe Diem and it's been divided into various sections and each section offers a different and unique thing. It's got an art gallery, it's got a cafe as well as a learning center. Let's go in and find out more. If you found a way out, come see me. raining quite heavily now but honestly i love goa during monsoons i just love how it all gets so green and looks even more beautiful but when it's not raining it's pretty hot and humid in goa 
the air conditioning though in Citroen C3 is made for the Indian weather. The fast air conditioning or rather the fast cooling is sure to dry up your sweat quickly and make you feel re-energized. So let's head to the next stop. Well, no trip to South Goa is ever complete without enjoying a meal at Martin's Corner. This food castle was built by a local go in here. It was just a cozy restaurant with only four tables. Today, it's a fully serviced restaurant. You can come here and enjoy some authentic Goan prawn curry, fish fry, alongside some live music. Yes, thank me later for this recommendation. Wow, nothing can quite match up to enjoying the sunset on the beach. I'm sure you're wondering why I didn't take you to any of the beaches as yet. Well, I was just saving the best for the last. And interestingly, this beach is called the Sunset Beach, which is recommended to me by a local goer. And that's why you don't see too many tourists here. Discovering the hidden gems of South Goa, in the Citroen C3, I enjoyed the drive as much as the exploration and I hope you did too. And if you really did, remember to like, share and subscribe to Curly Tales. Until next time, it's me Kamya Jani, driving off. See you soon.